hook, line, and sinker. A self-described email prankster in the UK fooled a number of senior White House officials into thinking that he was other White House officials, including an episode where the prankster convinced the White House official tasked with cybersecurity, Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert, that he was Jared Kushner, and he received Bossert's private email address unsolicited. He shared some of those emails with us. Quote, Tom, we are arranging a bit of a soiree towards the end of August. The fake Jared Kushner on an Outlook account wrote to Bossert's official White House email account. Quote, it would be great if you could make it. I promise food of at least comparable quality to that which we ate in Iraq. Should be a great evening. The very real Bossert wrote back to the very fake Jared Kushner. Quote, thanks, Jared. With a promise like that, I can't refuse. Also, if you ever need it, my personal email is. And then he gave his personal email address. White House officials acknowledged to CNN that the incidents happened and said they were taking the matter seriously. Quote, we take all cyber-related issues very seriously and are looking into these incidents further, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders told CNN this evening. Cyber experts consulted by CNN say that the incidents are illustrative of how vulnerable Americans, even those in the highest reaches of power, the Trump White House, remain to the potential threat of what is called spear phishing. That's the process through which officials are duped by hackers and exposed government computers and systems to various cyber threats. You might remember this happening to Hillary Clinton campaign chair John Podesta. Now, no one in any of these White House situations clicked any links, making them or their computers vulnerable. And the prankster appears motivated by mischief, not anything more malignant. The prankster told CNN, quote, I try and keep it on the humorous side of things. I'm not looking for the keys to the vault. So the severity of these White House pranks should not be overstated, but spearfishers often begin the process by falsely posing as a friend or associate before asking the victim to take further action. Another exchange appears to have possibly played a role in the tensions between then White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci and former White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. Masquerading as Priebus, the prankster emailed Scaramucci's official White House account using a mail.com account on Saturday. Fake Priebus attacked Scaramucci in the email. Quote, at no stage have you acted in a way that's even remotely classy General Kelly will do a fine job. I'll even admit he will do a better job than me, but the way in which that transition has come about has been diabolical and hurtful. I don't expect a reply. The very real Scaramucci responded to the very fake Priebus. You know what you did. We all do, even today. But rest assured, we were prepared. A man would apologize. Fake Priebus wrote back to real Scaramucci. I can't believe you're questioning my ethics. The so-called mooch who can't even manage his first week in the White House without leaving upset in his wake. I have nothing to apologize for. Again, the actual Scaramucci responded, read Shakespeare, particularly Othello. You are right there. My family is fine, by the way, and will thrive. I know what you did. No more replies from me. In a different exchange, the very real Scaramucci was hoodwinked by the same prankster pretending to be ambassador to Russia designate John Huntsman. Quote, Whose head should roll first, the bogus huntsman asked from a Gmail account on Friday, before the previous termination had been announced. Maybe I can help things along somewhat, responded the very real Scaramucci. Both of them, an apparent reference to Priebus and Steve Bannon. Huntsman himself was also tricked with the prankster pretending to be Eric Trump, the president's son. Eric Trump was similarly hoodwinked by the prankster emailing as his older brother, Donald Trump Jr., though Eric realized it and said he was notifying the authorities. Neither Huntsman nor Trump would comment on the record. The prankster has previously fooled major bank CEOs from Goldman Sachs and Citigroup.